Blue Table fans, Woo! it's Saturday and I'm excited. I am glad to be alive, glad to be here. All right, so uh, today I came to the studio and found this little nugget. What's this? A package with Hawk War Games tape on it. So while we were at Valhalla, uh, the owner of Hawk War Games, Dave Lewis, he uh, worked on a list, because I was like, all right, for all the four armies, I want to have like a good spread of stuff. So help me make a list of what it is that I have and what it is that you would recommend that I add to make some like awesome armies. So he did, he sat down da, 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 and he knew everything I had by heart. <clears throat> and then he said, when I get back, I'm just gonna send you all this stuff. So thank you, Dave, thank you so much. I accept, I accept good things and you should too. But I can't tell you how to live your life. All right, here it comes. Let's take a look at what I got. Now this is all like just in the blister, so it's not gonna be as exciting. You know, and in fact, uh, I got the Shaltari Kraken. So, um, yeah, I got my Shaltari going, and that's gonna be ready by Monday, along with some UCM stuff. But now it's complete. Apollo Strike Walkers, those are pretty cool. More Apollo Strike Walkers, that's PHR. Oh, these Helioses, these things are incredible. That's the bottom of them, actually. They have like these little missile turrets on them. You've seen those. Uh, another Helios, awesome, I say yes. And you know what, here, I wanna show you something. Before we go any further, let me show you this stuff here. Uh, I think our battery's okay. This is all the PHR stuff I have. So I was going through it and, you know, looking at it all, and I'm missing two Neptunes. So uh, I need two Neptunes sent to me uh, within two business days. That's what I need. Anybody wanna do that? That'd be awesome. Maybe I can trade you something for it. So, uh, because basically, other than that, this is like rounded out. Actually, I probably need four Neptunes to be carriers for all the stuff that I, all the, uh, all the new stuff that we got. So anyway, so by the way, so here's how it works. So the Neptunes have these two little carrying points and they actually fit they actually bond on to these little things on the tops of all, I don't know if I'm on camera here, there we go. So they actually go on there like they're keyed on. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna fully magnetize this whole thing. And so that I, everything will actually go on to the carries. This is the front of the Neptune, by the way. And then like there's crew and stuff and an engine back there. So uh, this actually goes like this. So, uh, oh yeah, do I have that right? Yeah. So uh, there you go. So the two tanks go on like that. And uh, I'm gonna magnetize them and I'm also gonna magnetize the turrets so that they'll, they'll swivel around but they'll also like clamp. And that is gonna be quite the feat of engineering for my guys to do it, but I know that they can. I love these drones, these are called Mercuries. Now, unfortunately, um, due to an assembly oversight, I had to fill in the little gaps on the top. Uh, but those are gonna get drilled out, have tiny little magnets, and those go on these uh, Triton ships here. Isn't that cool? Guys, this is the coolest game ever. So yeah, those will be magnetized on so they're like that. And that, so you can keep track of which ship has, has what. So yeah, so I need some Tritons too. Yeah, so, um, and by the way, that's how it works. If you do an order for us, uh, which saves me some steps in the process, um, basically you get a credit here. That's one way of doing it. And I amplify the credit. I do it about, uh, I do it 10%. So this has six points on it. So uh, this would have like, these walkers, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. See, they have a little keyed thing on top. So we'll put little magnets in that. So that's where, that's how that looks. There'll be six of those on there. So that's pretty cool. So contact me at bluetablepainting at gmail.com if you're interested in that. If you have an existing project, it's a good way to uh, get a little bit of buffer. You just make an order for us and uh, it makes me happy inside. And, uh, okay, so anyway, this is the Hades, which is that big old scorpion thing, which looks awesome. And you've seen that before, I'm pretty sure. I got two Athenas now. 
So, uh, so yeah, the PHR are getting rounded out. Awesome. Man, I love this game. So good, so well written, great history. The models are incredible. The company's incredible. Jeez, what the heck, Hawk War Games. There's more Angelos. And these have this little cool, oh, there's the top of it. That's what the top of them, of those grav tanks. Oh, so cool. Or they grab, I don't know. Maybe they just shoot air out of it. Not familiar with that. Oh, here's a Cayman. And you know, what? I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna grab my Shaltari stuff so you can so you can see that too. Back. All right, let's get the papers out of here. It's in a bit of a disarray. So uh, let me show you what a Cayman looks like. And this one, oh, this actually has had painting done on it. Okay, not entirely done. Needs a little more glowy stuff on there, but there you go. Isn't that cool? Magnetized. So that's good, always good to request magnetization. That's a specialty of our, of our studio. By the way, I'm winded because I came up the stairs. Okay, so there's a Cayman, so that goes in here. And you can have one to three Caymans per unit. And uh, tarantulas, let me tell you what, show you what those look like. Um, that's these guys right here. So, pretty cool. They're, uh, Surface to surface for those, so that goes in there. Here's uh, two tarantulas, so that's six tarantulas. So that means you got an all walker, mid-sized Shaltari army. All right, let me pause. pause. Keep going. Here's the next box, two out of three. So we'll take a look. You get to see it, some of the shapes and wonderfulness. Oh, a Triton A2. Awesome, fantastic. Okay, here is a, oh, this is a Dreamweaver, oddly enough. All right, fantastic, I say thank you very much for that. Okay, here we go. And then, oh, a Neptune! Oh my gosh, did I get all the Neptunes I needed already? Oh, this is fantastic, a Raven Bee, Fan needed those. Uh, let me show you what one of those looks like. Let's see if I can find one from my game yesterday. You guys have probably seen these. By the way, if you ever do Drop Zone Commander, uh, don't have the basis textured, it's really not necessary, just, just leave them clear. It's really better that way. Although uh, the heaviness of the base does help if you have an irregular uh, board. Okay, uh, oh, I, the Shaltari goes in there. Yeah, that's, oh man, so much PHR. Okay, a Raven B, that'll go for my UCM. Oh, yeah, I got sent five of these. I think they're like 20, the, all told, this is like, this is like $700 worth of stuff. It's just, it's just amazing, guys. What, what a treat. So here's their three carrying points on the bottom of that. And these look so cool. They look so cool. Oh man, I can't, I can't even begin to describe it. They're so awesome. All right, let's keep going. Uh, bird eaters. So I should have six of each of the walkers there. Uh, bird eater, don't have any, uh, any painted. Those, by the way, those will all be painted up by next Tuesday when I do a DZC bat rep with Ben. What up, Ben three? That's his name. Uh, there's another one, another one, Har and another harbinger. So five harbingers. Awesome. Those things are so cool. Okay, let's get all the scourge stuff in the box. Oh, this is so great, guys. You know what? BTP really is an amazing miniatures assembly and painting studio. It is just absolutely fantastic. And we really do love our clients here. It is, it is great. Just the feedback and the wonderful vibes makes me happy. Okay, here's a Scourge Stalkers. Awesome, gonna say yes to those. A Totem Warspire. Uh, let me show you one of those put together. This just got done. Um, and uh, that looks really awesome. Love that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, hold on, I wanna check something out on this. Huh, I wonder if that's how, that's how that goes. Okay, all right, anyway, that goes in my Shaltari. Oh my gosh, I'm adding so much to my Shaltari. Look at that, that's like eight blisters. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Uh, here's, another, here's a Shaltari Fire Drake. If anything, I need more gates. Ah, uh, it never ends. Oh, another, did I get two fire drakes? 
That is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna say yes to that. That's great. I wonder if those are as big as a Gaia. A UCM Eagle, awesome, love that. And we've got Scourge Ravagers. Uh, Scourge Stalker, those are like these little crawly guys. Those are fantastic. A UCM Katana, UCM Katana, these are these tanks. Different configuration of tank. Oh, destroyers, awesome. Scourge goes there, UCM goes in there. And the last thing is a Scourge, a couple of Scourge Intruders. So there you go. So yeah, I actually do need to somehow rustle up those Neptunes. All right, anyway, folks, um, yes, here, here's me again. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Gotta steady it up. All right, folks, so 40K 7th edition came out today. I'm pretty sure today was the release for that. Maybe last night, who knows, midnight. I guess probably some guys up at midnight and uh, so all the feedbacks coming in I got my rule book uh, but I immediately went on a date with my wife so I, like I started reading it while she was driving up I was like you drive so I could read my rule book and then I was like no no I gotta put the rule book away because that's bad date guys it's you gotta you, if you're out on a date you gotta pay attention to your date so I, I looked at it for like five minutes and then I was like all right into the back seat you go so then I show up. Oh, we went to go see uh, X-Men. So is that a bad date? Going to see the movie I want instead. Um, and uh, that was fun. It was good. Nothing wrong with it. And, uh, but you know, I didn't laugh. I, actually, I was inspired during one scene. It was pretty awesome. The Quicksilver scene. That was awesome. Ah, so much fun. Okay, so anyway, um, I love this whole comic books as movies thing going on. All right, so then I get back and I'm like, all right, time to get some work done. It's like 6.30, so I'm gonna be here late tonight. So yeah, if you have a question about your project, it's Saturday night, I should be here for at least a couple, three more hours. And um, what's the other thing? <laughs> oh, so uh, uh, there was a power outage while we were gone. So um, pretty much the guys went home, they're still working on their stuff. I have a feeling Saturday we'll see people down. And um, <clears throat> so I get back and uh, Mason and Paul come up and they're like, hey, do you have the new rule book? I'm like, oh, here we go. Blomp. So uh, they're downstairs tearing it up. And um, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's the studio, guys. Thanks for coming along for the journey. And definitely now is a great time to set up a project. BTP is in incredibly high demand. It's, it's gone like, eight times beyond my wildest expectations uh, so far. And still an incredibly bright future. I see so much more that could be done. And I have yet other ideas and amazingness. And so I just, you know, I gotta figure out how much to put the, how, how to work the gas and the brake on, on, on life right now. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And I hope you have, you choose to have an awesome weekend.